Hello there. So for today, we will be discussing about the common sewing machine troubles and their remedies. As a dressmaking student, you must be ready to perform basic maintenance. Understanding the troubles that you might encounter upon operating the sewing machine can help in applying remedies on it. In this video, you will be equipped with the skills needed in performing basic maintenance. Common sewing machine troubles and remedies will be discussed. These skills are very important in dressmaking for these are fundamental skills that you should learn to practice the skills competency. There are two classifications of sewing machine trouble. The first one is the minor sewing machine trouble, and the second one is the major sewing machine trouble. Minor sewing machine trouble includes problems that arise involving incorrectly attached accessories or supplies, unadjusted tensions, or that requires a little dusting or oiling. So minor sewing machine troubles includes incorrectly attached needle, incorrectly adjusted tensions or improperly adjusted tensions and also if the sewing machine needs dusting or oiling. On the other hand, the major sewing machine trouble involves replacing or removing damaged spare parts that made the sewing machine not totally functioning. So if the sewing machine is not totally functioning, it is not sewing, maybe some of the spare parts or the major parts are damaged so they need to be replaced or removed so those are examples of major sewing machine trouble the following are the common causes of sewing machine troubles so if you are experiencing upper thread breaking while you are sewing your machine is not properly threaded so the remedy is to set the sewing machine properly you should thread the sewing machine properly so that you can avoid upper thread breaking. Another one is the tension is too tight. So if the upper tension is too tight, you should adjust the upper tension so that upper thread breaking will be avoided. The needle is bent. So if the needle is bent, of course, you need to change the needle. That is the remedy so that upper thread breaking will not happen. Another one is the thread is too coarse for the needle size. So the thread should match the needle size so that you can avoid upper thread breaking. Another sewing machine problem that you can encounter is the lower thread breaking. So if this happens, you might be having improper setting of the bottom case on the shuttle. It's like what is shown on the video. So you should set the bottom case on the shuttle properly so that you can avoid the lower thread breaking. Another cause is the tension is too tight. So if the lower tension on the bobbin case is too tight, you need to adjust it so that you can avoid lower thread breaking. Thread wound unevenly on the bobbin case or bobbin wound too full. So if you are threading the bobbin, you should thread it evenly. And then you should not wind the bobbin too full so that you will not experience the lower thread breaking. Another sewing machine problem that you can encounter is skipping stitches, just like what is illustrated here. Your needle is not accurately set on the needle bar, the reason why you are having your skipping stitches. So you should set your needle properly on the needle bar. Another one is a much needle size or thread to the fabric. So the needle size or the thread should correspond to the fabric that you are sewing so that you can avoid skipping stitches. Another one, the needle is bent. So if the needle is bent, you need to change the needle. That is the remedy so that skipping stitches will be avoided. Another one, another cause is there is no enough pressure on the presser foot. That's why skipping stitches is there. So what will you do? You need to adjust the thumb screw. 
so that enough pressure will be given to the presser foot while you are sewing on the fabric. Another sewing machine trouble that you can encounter is when the needle breaks. So what is the cost? Using fine needle on heavy seam. Of course, your needle size should correspond to the fabric that you are using so that the needle will not break. And then the needle does not go through the center of the hole. That hole is what we call the throat. So the needle should be set properly so that it will go through the center of the hole or the throat. In that case, breaking the needle will be avoided. And then, improper threading. So you should thread the machine properly so that the needle will not break. Another one, the needle is too long and incorrectly set. So the needle size should correspond to the machine that you are using and also it should be threaded properly. And then sewing over the pins left after basting. Just like what you can see now on the video. So you should not sew over the pins that are there while you are sewing so that the needle will not break. And then pulling the material to one side when taking it from the machine or while you are sewing. So you should not pull the fabric or the material forcibly so that the needle will not break. Another sewing machine problem that you will encounter is when the stitches are looping. What is the cause? So loop stitches are usually carried by improper tension so the tension should be properly set and you should check check it out before using the sewing machine so that the stitches will not do another one is improper threading so you should always check the threading of the sewing machine if it is properly threaded so that you will not encounter having your stitches looping. Unbalanced tension of the upper and the lower thread. Again, that is brought up by improper tension. So, you should always check the upper thread and the lower thread tension so that stitches looping will be avoided. Another sewing machine trouble that you can encounter is when your machine is not failing properly. So what is the cause? The presser foot presses too tight for the material. So you should adjust the thumb screw so that your presser foot will not press too much on the material so that it will fit properly. Another one is the feed dog may be smooth. Okay, the feed dog is the one that is arrowed there on the video so it should not be smooth and to avoid that whenever you are winding you should have your presser foot lifted up so that your feed dog will not be smooth and your machine will feed properly another machine trouble is when your machine is working heavily so it might be gone and need a general oiling so you should clean and oil your sewing machine regularly so that your sewing machine will uh, not work heavily. Another one is the belt may be too tight hence exerting excessive pressure on the bearing. So the belt should not be too tight nor not too loose so that your machine will work properly. And then the belt may be too loose and slip on the balance wheel causing the operator to travel. So again, the belt should be not too tight and not too loose for the sewing machine to work properly. In performing basic maintenance, applying the correct procedure in sewing will make your work faster, easier, more interesting and challenging here are some pointers that you have to follow in the manipulation of your sewing machine so you should start with the right tools 
and supply. Have your needle, thread, screwdriver, pin, tape measure, scissors ready for you. With the tools at hand, you can start working continuously on your sewing and save time. So, you should apply correct procedure while you are sewing because it will make your work easier and faster. Thread the sewing machine properly. It will save your time to get a correct threading. Refer to your teacher to check if you have threaded it properly. So make sure that your sewing machine is threaded properly. Be sure that the needle is properly set according to the directions for specific models. A properly attached needle will make your work without any trouble and it will avoid the common troubles that we have discussed a while ago. Set the stitch regulator according to the project specification and test the stitches for possible adjustment. You need to test a scrap of fabric first before using the sewing machine so that you can check if the stitch regulator is set properly. Check tension dials and adjust according to project requirement of the stitches. Correct adjustment on the tension dials will make perfectly sewn garment. Again, check the tension, especially the upper tension and the lower tension, so that you can assure that the stitches are good for your project. Another standard for sewing machine operation is that you should turn the power off the sewing machine when the sewing machine is not in use. So don't forget that for your safety. And then keep the sewing tools, dust the sewing machine, then put a little amount of machine oil in cloth. So you should clean and dust the sewing machine regularly and keep your sewing tools. Getting to stitch before you start, make sure the upper and lower threads are back between the two toes of the presser foot, just like what is shown here. With that, I hope you learned a lot from our common causes of machine troubles and the remedies that were discussed, as well as the standards for sewing machine operators. So you just have to keep in mind that you need to use and set the sewing equipment properly so that you can avoid troubles and produce a well-made garment output. Now, let us check your understanding about the machine troubles, causes, 